Yo, what go on? My name is George, and I'm doing a video blog because I feel like people might want to know this. So, I took a hiatus from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about five, somewhere between four and five and a half years. And I've always wanted to get back on the mat and train. You know how it is you, when you try to get started back doing something. First go around when I started, I was so excited and, you know, didn't know what to expect. This, it took a lot more inertia to get going, to overcome a lot more of myself than anything else. And um, I finally made the commitment to find a place that I could go to, which the Lord blessed. And there was a place locally right nearby where I stay. And so it's only 16 minutes away. Um, incredibly humble guy, uh, Team Reigns, Dan Reigns out of uh, Nightdale, North Carolina. And uh, first time I had an opportunity to meet some of the guys training at the gym. Wonderful guys. Uh, very good group of guys so far that I've met. And it's not a highly competitive environment in the sense that we're training MMA fighters. It's just guys training for jiu-jitsu for life, you know, and that's what I believed in. When I was originally starting out, my goal had always been to become a, uh, at least a brown belt. That was always my thing. But uh, right now I'm a, a blue belt with three stripes, so it, it really doesn't feel like it right now. And I'll, I'll kind of get into that in a second. But the journey never stops so long as you don't stop and even though I took a long break I felt like I really wanted to continue and, and check this off my list of things to do well today was the day I got started back and I uh, went to the mat for the first time and you know how they say it's like riding a bike well this is not like riding a bike at all okay so for anybody who's going back to doing um, something like this be prepared because it is rough and um, Professor Reigns mentioned that it might even be harder to come back after a longer break like I did than actually starting uh, as a white belt. So uh, you know, I got there a little late, which was unfortunate, so I didn't even get to stretch and warm up. I just got right into the drills and uh, doing some of the sweeps, and uh, you know, which was pretty cool, uh, X-guard sweeps and things like that. But uh, when we got to doing the rolling part, I knew I was going to be in for it. But, you know, here's the thing about learning how to uh, do anything or get started with anything. You know the pain is coming. So just to prepare for it. And the best thing you can do is just do your best and try to keep going. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you just got to keep getting back up, like they say. I rolled with the first guy. I couldn't hardly breathe. I was breathing where you can't even move your diaphragm muscles enough because the muscles are so weak. They can't even get enough air in. Um, I'm all, I also have diabetes, which I'm a type 1 diabetic, and I was very concerned about my blood sugars and how they would go. I had a low blood sugar episode while I was going on the mat. Um, I did try to do my best to run it up a little bit. Got down to uh, 54, I think, at the end. And that may have been why I was... Couldn't see straight for a minute, but um, I just kept on trying my hardest to, to break through that wall. And you know the wall, <clears throat> for everyone, there is a wall that we have to push through. If you know the wall is there, you just got to keep pushing um, until that wall comes down. If you can't push through the wall, go over it. If you can't go over it, go under it. If you can't go over it, under it, go around it. But you got to get through the wall. So, um, you know, I, I told the guys there... You know, I, there was white belts there. I tapped in like five. They tapped me out in five minutes, less than that, probably like two minutes. Um, you know, I, I was playing the drum tonight, which is OK, because I, I don't have a ego about it. I, you know, I really I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for me. And I know I have to get comfortable being uncomfortable again. And that's part of the deal. So I did want to just share this real quick. I'm going to um, probably post more videos as this journey goes on. Right now, I'm, I'm rolling out. Um, that wasn't around when I f was doing jiu-jitsu before, the concept of rolling. Um, so, you know, I'm older now, so I got to try to help recondition my muscles, break down some of this lactic acid buildup, and probably supplement even more. But the good news is that day one is over. 
And day two, when I go back, will be different. And so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, if you have any comments, questions about this, just let me know. But uh, I'll just keep posting these until I'm finally back in the game. And maybe I'll take some shots at the gym. But these are the aftermath shots. So the aftermath is probably funnier because I'm just laid out on my floor, just chilling. Um, my house is a mess because I have children. Anyway, all right, good talk. We'll talk soon. Jiu-jitsu for life out.